Hi all, welcome back to Geister Solidworks. This is um, a new tutorial I'm going to go through looking at a revolve and also a circular pattern. So we're going to create this hub here um, and hopefully this will be a good tutorial for anyone that's getting into Solidworks, wants to learn a few more of the sort of slightly more advanced modeling features um, and how we can also model a bit more uh, sort of economically in terms of our modeling uh, techniques that we use. Um, so let's dive into this drawing then. Right, okay, so let's get started then. So I'm gonna start off by picking a plane to draw on. So I'm gonna go on the right plane and I'm gonna sketch on there. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a center line across my origin here. So I'm going to go across my origin there. Now what I want is the center of that center line to be mated to or connected to my origin. So I'm just going to click one, hold control, click the other, and I'm just going to make them coincident so they're connected there. Now I want that size to be 40. So I'm just going to turn that to 40. Like so. Okay, so now I've got that, I'm going to draw a center line straight up here. So, center line again, come to my origin, I'm going to draw a line straight up. And this line is going to be half of the diameter of my component, which is uh, 49 high. Fit to that to the screen so I can see it all. Once I've got them two lines in, I'm going to draw out the rough shape of this um, hub. So, across, up, diagonally in, up, out a bit, up a bit, and across the centre there. Okay. So, now I've got that shape, I'm going to just... Um, put some sizes to it. So the first thing is I'm going to make these end points. So click one and click the other down there and make them um, vertical, vertical in line. So that will set the distance out there. Now I want to know the distance away from the line. So that gap is 48 uh, diameter, so it's going to be 24 for the gap in there. Like so. Now I'm going to zoom in here, get the length of that line there, and this is going to be 2 milli. So make that 2. I also want to know the um, angle of this, so I'm going to click that line there, and click this line here, and set the angle there, and that should be 80. So 80 on my angle there. The distance between this and there is 2.5, but it's going to be 5 mil across to its mirror image. So I'm just going to click there and there. And if I stay on this side, I can put in the 2.5. But if I move my arrow over that center line, it will give me the distance to the mirror image. So if I click there, I can just turn that to 5. So I know it's going to be exactly right when I mirror it. Come up to the top here, this gap here is going to be um, 4 mil, so let's change that to 4. And I just want to know how far this is going to come out, which is going to be um, 29 mil, all the way across, so I need half of that, which is 29 divided by 2, gives me 14.5, perfect. Now I've got this sh um, shape, I want to mirror it across to get the other half. So I'm going to go to my mirror entities tool. It asks me what I want to mirror. So I'm going to highlight everything on this side. And then it says what I want to mirror about. So I'm going to click in that box and click the center line going down the page there. Giving me the preview exactly how I want it. So I'll just tick on that side. And I'll get that mirror across. 
Okay, so now I've got the shape, I'm going to revolve that around this center line. So I'm going to go up to features and revolve. It will automatically pick up the shape, but it wants me to specify a axle axis of re revolution, which is going to be this center line across here. So if I click on that line, and it gives me the preview fully revolved. I'm happy with that. Now I can change some things, so I could change the how far it went around. So if I didn't want it to go all the way around 360, I could edit that. And I can edit um, the same as with any extrude, the um, the functions that go with it, whether it's blind, midpoint, up to a surface, so on and so on. But I'm happy with blind first because it's going to go all the way around. So tick there, and I get my revolved shape, like so. Okay, so the next bit that I'm going to be drawing is going to be onto this face here. So I click on that face and sketch. I'm going to move that straight on so I can see it. So if I hit the space bar, I'll get up this view function. If the box doesn't appear, just click this little button here and the box will come up. And then you can click in the face of the, the box to get the view you want. Now I'm going to put a circle on here, from there, out to there. Now I'm going to add a size to this. And the size is 37.04. That's the radius, so I'm just going to times that by 2 to get the diameter. Okay. Now this circle is going to be a construction line, so I'm just going to click on the line and turn it to uh, construction. And I'm going to use that to highlight where I want to put my first hole. So if I click another circle here, go right up to the top of this construction line, get the point to connect to, and draw a circle. That circle is going to be a diameter of 10, so let's uh, dimension that up to 10. And that'll give me the diameter there. Now this is going to cut through, so we're going to go to Features and Cut, and cut that straight through the component. Tick in there, and you should see now we have a hole. Okay, so that's just given me one hole. In my model, I have six. Now, there's a couple of ways we could have done this. I could have sketched all the holes on, cut them all through, but that doesn't really make it very easy for me to edit. If I sketch one, I can click this extrude here, this extrude cut, go to pattern, and do a circular pattern. Now it's asked me for a direction to pattern around, so I'm just gonna click a circular edge. So this inside edge will do. Any circular edge would have done. Uh, and it's coming up at the moment with six. I want six. It's given me six holes. And they are equally spaced, so they're spread equally around that circle. Now, if it if you only had two or three there, just change it to six, but make sure you've always got equally spaced. Click there. Um, if let's so let's show that. So I'll click that, and you'll show the preview. So I've got the six holes now cut through. If I wanted to edit that, so change the holes, this is where the pattern makes it really easy. If I right click on the pattern, go to edit feature, and I've decided now that I want 8 instead of 6, put 8 in there, tick, and I will get the 8 holes instead of the 6. But I still want 6, so I'm just going to right click, edit that feature and turn it back to 6. And I get my six holes as my outcome. I'm just going to flip that to an isometric view so you can see it. And that's my finished product. So hopefully that tutorial was useful for you. Taking you through um, a, revolved, a revolve of a shape and also introducing the circular pattern there on that component. I um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something new there. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you're a, if you're a, a returning um Watcher, please give us some comments. If there's anything you'd like us to do or anything you think you need some help with, please let us know and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Um, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.